Hi guys. Hi guys. Thanks for joining us again on another video. If you're following us on Instagram, you will have seen, yeah, there you go. <laughs> you will have seen a little, little injury, but it's good. It's fine. Ish. Yeah. We will have a video in the next couple of weeks that will actually show everybody um, that situation. <laughs> we also wanted to come to you this week and talk about our schedule change. We have had a little bit of a schedule change. We were supposed to go towards Quartzsite after Texas, after the holidays, but as it turns out, Battleborn had reached out to us for some installs on the complete opposite direction. So we're actually going to spend January and probably February in Florida. So um, if you guys have any needs, in that area we do have availability for february february yeah. we are booked for december and january at this point This week we're installing a system in a 2018 Leisure Travel Unity 24 MB. Uh, the customer wanted tilt panels so that he could clean under it. He wanted 600 watts of solar on the roof, uh, 200 amps of Battleborn lithium batteries, a Victron MultiPlus 3000 100-50 MPPT smart solar uh, with Bluetooth, and Finally, a 712 BMK battery monitor. Here we go with the install. So in this opening is how the system was factory. Um, we removed two drawers that were to the right of the uh, refrigerator and below a wardrobe. Uh, when we had gotten into the space and kind of started looking around, um, I had to move a couple of things around and once I had the placement figured out I you know began with the wiring uh, figuring out the the grounding uh, for the shunt for the 712 as well as placement of the batteries uh, both batteries and the multi plus uh, the batteries on this one will be in a vertical orientation So there, that's the placement of the second battery. Um, this is the uh, fun task of making all of the battery cables and cutting everything and making it all to length and putting on all of the um, heat shrink tape so that if there's any frayed wires, uh, nothing is exposed. Uh, this is down in the existing battery bay, uh, making the tie-in for the coach positive and negative uh, ground to the frame on the on the negative and then on the positive there was an existing um, uh, fuse bus bar that I was able to tap into uh, since we moved the batteries over to where the multi plus is the customer gained this entire bay for storage in a class B that's kind of a big thing because they're they're very small there's not a whole lot of room we're continuing um, all of the wiring just kind of making sure everything's um, in place uh, continuing making cables and getting everything you know cut the length When the drawer is in place and you open the drawer, the drawer is actually short whenever it's all the way out and extended. There's about a four or five inch gap at the end whenever um, you have the drawer fully open. So what I was going to do is make a plate and attach the, the main off switch uh, 
as soon as you open the drawer all the way, the bottom drawer all the way, then you would see the the off switch and have kind of a stealth install. You wouldn't nothing changed whenever you walk inside the uh, coach. You can't see anything that that I had installed except for the solar on the roof. Um, but when you pull the drawer out and you start looking around, uh, you can see that a, you know a lot of modifications have been made. Um, adding the Bluetooth dongle for the MultiPlus, um, did Velcro and just attached it right to the front of it. I also removed the top cover so that it would have um, uh, more access to free air. Uh, there's no reason for it in this confined space, there's no reason for it to be on. Normally if I mount a MultiPlus in a, con a very confined space like that, I will remove the top cover so that it can breathe a little easier. Now I'm connecting onto the um, existing 400 amp, or not existing, the 400 amp shunt so that I can add a 200 amp um, ANL fuse to go to the coach wiring. I had previously hooked up the other end of uh, the, the 200 amp A&L setup. I had to fabricate the uh, plate that will be mounted for the on off switch. Um, I also like to router a smooth edge on the outside of it. Um, and then sand it down so everything's you know nice and smooth and then put the L brackets on it. So once I get the the um, plate installed, get everything put back together. Got to get all the, you know, the battery strapped down. Uh, the back battery has a uh, plate on it, uh, an L bracket keeping it in place. Uh, the front battery is kind of freestanding, so it really needed to have a strap. section of the video I'm assembling all of the tilt brackets onto the panels so getting the first one set up and then uh, once all of these are set up then I get everything mounted up on the roof Just showing getting all the wiring put together. Uh, whenever you're doing a tilt panel, it's a little bit more interesting to get the wiring done because you have to have the flexibility to be able to tilt the panels uh, either direction, uh, flexibility in the wiring and the slack. But it also has to be uh, fastened down enough to where when you're lifting the panels up or securing them back down, the wiring won't get caught.
Thanks again for joining us um, on another video and if you haven't subscribed to us already um, please do so. Um, go back and watch some of our other videos. If you don't already know what we do is we travel around the country uh, doing mobile RV solar installs and so uh, Mike is the expert in that and he is teaching me a little bit so I've been able to help him um, just on the minor things <laughs> but um, I've been able to you know start helping him with these as well as um, I handle all of our social media yeah social media and the videos and um, on the a lot of stuff on the back end of things so uh, we travel the country in our fifth wheel with our two dogs so if you haven't already seen some of our other videos please go back and you know check some of those out subscribe to our channel smash the like button <laughs> and then uh, you know make sure that you click the bell so that you can get notified of new videos and we release new videos every Friday at 3 p.m. Central Time. <laughs> so next week we're doing a light a 2013 lifestyle fifth wheel install so be sure to tune in for that one next week. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the road. road. Hey, hey guys. There. I said hey there and you said hey guys. Should I say hey guys? Uh, say whatever you want to say. Okay. What do you want to say? Redo. Let's do that. What do you want to say? Uh, <laughs> you can't read. Say, hi guys. Okay. Three, two, one. It's hard to take a shower with one hand. Okay. That was very awkward. <laughs> anyway, okay. So. That's got to be loud in the video, Lucy. This week we installed a system. <coughs> <laughs> it takes a long time for us to get a video out. <laughs> so serious. I'm waiting for her to finish. Lucy, you're ruining the video. I just kidding. I just kidding. <laughs> She's like, what? Okay, so this week we're installing a system. Hold on, I'm sorry, I had a head scratch. Okay, now I'm ready. Oh, I know what it was. This whole time, we didn't yell. Action! <laughs> this week, this. <laughs> will you stop laughing? What up? See you soon. Oh, what? What are we doing next? It's another yeah. fifth wheel. Uh, Next week will be a oh. lifestyle fifth wheel. I was I was making a funny face, so. Oh, do it again. Yep. <laughs> Blooper. Thank you. See you guys on the road. Hey. Hey. Why'd you say hey? Wait. Oh. Okay. Going on the road. Do you want to hey. do you want to say see you on the road? Yeah. Okay. You want to say it together? Yeah. Three, two, one. We'll see, see you on, on the road. The road. That was awful. Three, two, one. We'll see, see you on, on the road. road. I gotta say will. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. We're a hot Let's mess. Let's together. Three, two, one. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the road. road. I was looking at you when I did it. You, were, you were, you're just so like, like, we'll see you on the road. Like you're, you know, it's not natural. So oh. let's don't do it. If it's not natural for you. Okay, I'll be na I'll be like natural out here. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh, we'll <laughs> that was natural. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. I mean, keep it. That's a wrap. <laughs>